New at 9, some Boeing employees who make the FA-18 Super Hornet right here in St. Louis are getting a chance to fly one and see their plane in the new Top Gun Maverick movie. Fox 2's Patrick Clark shows us how Boeing employees are getting a glimpse of the film before it opens. The FA-18 Super Hornet made here in St. Louis, flown by the U.S. Navy and Tom Cruise in the new Top Gun Maverick film. Tonight, Boeing employees getting a chance to try a simulator to fulfill their need for speed. Tom Cruise takes to the skies once again in the new film Top Gun Maverick, taking the highway to the danger zone, flying the Boeing Super Hornet made in St. Louis. The star of the movie is the F-18. I mean, the star of the movie is Tom Cruise, but having seen the movie, uh, having been involved with the principal filming, the F-18 is a character. The Super Hornet is a character and a good one. Boeing employees beaming at their beauty on the silver screen and Tuesday evening getting a chance to fly the most technologically advanced Navy jet in a simulator. Actual replica. It's a full simulator. So switchology, switches, displays, everything is the same. Come on down, you're gonna go high. The company letting employees sit in a simulator and try to land their handiwork on an aircraft carrier before heading inside the Ronnie's Marcus IMAX cinema and seeing the real deal Super Hornet shine on the big screen. It gives me the chills every single time. I was a giddy little kid all day today knowing that I was gonna get to watch the movie tonight. I've heard from others that have watched it already how amazing it is to see our aircraft in action and to see what it can do, I, it's, it's going to be unbelievable. I can't wait. This real life pilot and Top Gun served as a consultant on the new movie that tells a new story some 36 years after the original left audiences in awe. So in the first one, there are definitely moments that guys like me will throw stuff at the screen, like we don't do that, that doesn't work, that's not how, this is, how the class operates. Had a lot of advisors that were involved with script and plot development, and then on scene through that throughout the entirety to ensure that it remained true to naval aviation and Top Gun and training and how we fly and how we employ and, and go overseas. You can see in the new movie how they mounted some of those IMAX cameras to the jet. See for yourself. They're going to continue making the FA-18 through the 2040s, hopefully the 2050s here in St. Louis. In South County, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News.